Hello all and welcome to the next video here on the Onion Man's Rooftop Two-Headed Cow Caravan of Treasure and sometimes barter and the streak continues because it will always continue and only continue. Um, so yeah. Hey, like them ap apples and stuff. I'm having a good night. <laughs> I'm having a pretty good night. I'm, I feel good. Um, anyway, um, and we are in the next, um, Tales from the Mailbag here. I almost messed that part up. Um, and where I kind of look at some orders. I could have probably separated this one into two parts. I'm going to try to get through it as quick as possible here. I only have three Bit Bad Toy Store boxes, and I figured that would be a little bit too short. So I kind of just threw it in with the other pickups and called it good. Technically four Bit Bad Toy Store orders. I'm going to get into that right now. Uh, one of my orders came in. It was the perfect size box I needed to ship something I sold out, and that was Flavor Flav. I pre-ordered the Flavor Flav uh, Funko Pop. It came in. Perfect size box, needed it, opened them up, and so there you go. So this was a Bib Bat Toy Store pre-order that came in. Um, yeah, another one to add to my wrapper Funko Pop list. I like it. He looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll do a quick pop on him. Um, I don't post a lot of the quick pops just because uh, I kind of forget I have them, to be honest. But we'll film him, and eventually you'll see it in a video. Uh, I can't guarantee one. Uh, if you've never seen one of these, um, I always try to start with the things I buy at a store. Uh, this is going to be a little bit unique. Um, but yeah, so first things first. Uh, this is from Walmart. Apologies. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, first thing in here. I bought an alien hat. <laughs> I don't know why, I just did. I also bought a Bart Simpson hat. I don't know why, I was in the clothes section and I saw hats. Um, and, um, you know, sometimes you just see a hat you like. I like aliens and cryptids and all that junk. I don't believe in any of them, but I think they're hilarious, so I bought that. And then I love the Simpsons, so I bought a Bar Simpson hat. I'm going to curve this, um, heat it up, put a can in it, call it good. Uh, let's throw those over there. Uh, in terms of actual figures, I do have one actual figure I bought at Walmart. I picked up a Knuckles. Um, I've been getting these smaller Mario and Sonic figures, and I think they're pretty cool by Jax. Uh, I remember when Jax was awesome with the Ruthless Aggression and Classic Superstars line for WWE. Uh, and then they had that weird TNA line for a while. Either way, I went ahead and picked up Knuckles to go with the Sonic I have. So, pretty cool. Uh, I actually bought the Classic Sonic. I bought this one, too. I bought this, like, newer version of Sonic, and I bought the Classic Sonic, and I, I, I still have this one, but I prefer displaying the Classic Sonic, and uh, I bought Knuckles because I don't think there's a classic one of Knuckles. If there is, I'll probably end up getting it, but I'm cool with this one for now, so there we go. Um, put him to the side over here. Uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at, we got some eBay orders. These are both off of eBay. Um... Uh, I might have, you might know what these are because I talked about them in one of my Be Kind Retro Rewind videos. Uh, full disclosure, these are both uh, World of Springfield Simpsons figures. So, I'm just going to get these open. One of these, uh, well actually there's three. I think this one has two inside of it. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll open this one first. Also, if you know, I messed up ordering these. One of them I double bought. I had a brand new one in the box and I bought one off an auction. Granted, it was only like 10 bucks, but still. Why I did that, I'll never know. Uh, yep, it's that one. And then we have this one, so we'll save that one for last, because that's going to be the better one. Uh, put that to the side. Oh, boy. He's in a sandwich bag, yay. We got Bartman. <laughs> um, if you know anything about him, uh, it's Bartman. So, funny story, in uh, one of my Be Kind Retro Rewind videos in the last couple of weeks, I opened up a brand new Bartman. 
after I had already ordered this one and it had been shipped out. And um, like I said, I won it in an auction along with this one. I won two auctions the same day. So the, to save shipping, the guy shipped them at the same time, which I appreciate that. Um, and I'm not going to sit there and try to return it and be like, hey, I forgot I had this one. I'm, uh, for the $10 auction I won, it doesn't bother me. Um, but I double bought and I didn't even realize it. So I'm not going to open this up. If you go back and watch that video, you can see everything about Bartman in it. Yeah, it looks like he, he's totally complete. He's got the rocket, the slingshot, the three comet books. Uh, so yeah, he's complete. Um, and so is the other one. But uh, the big one that I was totally excited for was this one. So let's get him open. I've been looking for this one for well over two years now. Oh, when I first got back into World of Springfield. Uh, I shouldn't even say it, when I started collecting, not when I got back into this is one I knew I absolutely wanted. Had a struggle finding it. Brand new. He is very pricey. But this guy has him used. He's in decent shape. Not the best shape, to be honest. But for now, I'm okay with it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. We got Deep Space Homer. One of the all-time greatest episodes of The Simpsons. Uh, we got the monkey in the suit. I love it. Cool, he stands. Oh, set that place. I'm sorry, I was expecting it. I was making sure like it wasn't worse than what the pictures had initially shown because it was a loose figure. And it's got some scuffs on it. And you'll see on the side of the helmet, it's got some decent scuffing. But um, I was making sure it wasn't worse than what the initial picture showed. I knew that going into it. So I was just making sure. We got the salty snacks. Uh, we got the rod, the nuclear rod. Pretty cool. And then we got Homer himself. Um, he looks pretty good. The body and everything is pretty clean. There is a little bit of yellowing on the midpiece. Nothing too major. Uh, but right here, this is where I kind of noticed there was some scuffing here. It's not bad, and honestly, I could probably get it off um, and a little bit on the back. But for the most part, he looks fantastic. Um, he's in good shape. The reason I did this auction was because I won it fairly cheaply. Um, there were some bids, but I put in a max bid, and I ended up winning it. Brand new, I've seen this guy going over 100 bucks, And I paid probably half of that used. I think with shipping, it was a little over 50 Um so even though he's got some scuffing and stuff, I can, I'm pretty sure I can kind of clean that up and it won't be too bad. Um, yeah, I love deep space Homer. In my opinion, one of the absolute greatest Simpsons episodes of all time. Um, so he does have a little bit of an issue standing. Let's see if we can kind of move the legs here, get them a little better. There we go. Perfect. Nice. I like it. Um, yeah. So despite some scuffing, I think it's a fantastic looking figure. I'm glad to have it. Um, it was one of the ones I knew I wanted, uh, big time when I first got back into this line. So cool. Super 7 just released the ultimate of this. No, I will not be getting ultimate Simpsons. As cool as they are, I have no one to get them. But hey, this is great. I like it. I'm going to try to get this scuffing off. I think it'll come off. We'll see. I'll take an eraser to it. Usually the adhesive, the like kind of adhesiveness of an eraser gets scuff off the figures really good. I learned that with uh, Jack's WWE figures, actually. Um, so, cool. Uh, I like these a lot. I love the World of Springfield figures, especially finally getting Deep Space Homer. One of the ones I've wanted from the start. I don't know what I'm going to do with this Bartman. I don't think there's going to be much value in trying to resell him used like this, so I might give it away. I got some friends who also like The Simpsons, so maybe I'll just kind of give it as a gift or something. Um, we'll set those over here to the side. This is the other one I got from the same guy. I won this auction separately, like a day or two after I won the Bartman and Deep Space Homer. This is another one that I knew I wanted when I got back, when I went into World of Springfield, this is one of the ones I knew I wanted really a lot too. Um, so getting this one's pretty cool. We're up in here like a burrito. Let's try to cut this open. 
he is all taped up in bubble wrap. Um, it's all right though. We're gonna get him out. Apologies, this is really in there. Okay. Ugh. Ugh, I had to like cut everything here. Apologies for that. This one's in really good shape. Um, we got Mr. Plow Homer. I love it. Um, again, another one of the all time great Simpsons episodes. Uh, put the hat on him, and, ooh, dangerous. All right, there we go. Yeah, he's got a little scuffing on the shoulder here, nothing too bad. A um, little bit of here on the back, but again, another one that's kind of hard to find new for a decent price loose i got him for like a fraction of that price and yeah he's got some minor scuffing but it's cool he's just going to be a display piece for me uh it's not like i'm using these to play with or anything i love it we have uh, stockdale for veep we have the key to the city i, think, I believe that's what that was right and of course we have the mr plow fi uh, flyer uh i like it i love it i want to get plow king barney there is a plow king barney figure really want to get that so i think that'd be really cool yeah, I'm so happy. Deep Space Homer and Plow, uh, Mr. Plow Homer, two of the figures I knew I wanted badly when I got the when I got into the world of Springfield figures. So glad to have them. Uh, finding them loose, uh, even with a little bit of scuffing on them and everything, uh, for like a fraction of the prices, I'm cool with. So and again, they're older figures. I expect wear. I'm not too concerned about it. So. Um. Uh, next thing, uh, I'm going to open up another one, and then we'll get into the Big Bad Toy Store boxes here. Pretty sure that's it. This one, and then those three, so. Uh, we have a, I don't want to show the front of it, because, um, let's see if I can cover this up. Uh, we have a Hasbro box, but it's actually from Amazon, so that might give you an idea of what this could be. Um. Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm so happy I got those World of Springfield figures finally. Oh, it's already upside down. Kind of. I'm trying to cover up my address here. Um Alright, cool. We've got the Guardians of the Galaxy classic Ronin the Accuser figure. Um I like it. It's a classic looking Ronin. Um, cool. This is Amazon exclusive, if you did not know. Uh, so that's why it was from Amazon, but in a Hasbro box. Uh, Amazon exclusive, Ronan the Accuser. He's got the big hammer. Cool. Anytime I think of Ronan the Accuser, besides the Guardians movie, I always think of, um, Avengers. What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, is it Maximum Security? I think that's the name of the arc, the event, Maximum Security, where, like, there's, like, a cosmic group of villains who kind of take over the universe, and Earth is, like, this jail planet, and Ronan the Accuser is, like, the warden of the planet, and it's, it's, it's an awful event. It's not good, but he's, like, one of the main people in that. And I also think of, uh, when he's one of the main characters of one of my favorite stories of all time, Annihilation. So, check that out if you're a Ronan the Accuser fan. Uh, check out Annihilation in general if you like the cosmic side of Marvel. Or Marvel in general. It's such a great story. So yeah, this will be fun to open up. So, glad he finally came in. Um, we'll start with the smallest box. Uh, no idea what it is. Now we're getting into the section of I don't know what these are. Um, <laughs> anytime I get packages from Big Bad Toy Store, I tend to not remember what they are because I pre-order so much stuff. And I know it's like, well, you should get shipping emails and stuff like that. I do, and I never look at them. Um, I usually see like, oh, you got a Big Bad Toy Store ship notification. Immediate delete. I don't even look at what it is. Uh, I kind of like the idea of surprising myself and forgetting what I've pre-ordered. Uh, so let's take a look at what this is. Makes the video more fun. Yeah. Uh, what? 
Oh. <laughs> God. Wow. Okay, so look. I opened this like this, right? Like that. I thought that was Squirrel Girl for a moment. I was like, I don't remember ever pre-ordering Squirrel Girl. Um, not that I wouldn't. I probably would. But, um, no, it is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Cover Girl. All right. That makes more sense. Um, I like the G.I. Joe Classified line. I think it's a really cool line. Um, yeah, Courtney Krieger Cover Girl. It's just like a kind of over-the-top comic book art, like, almost like a J. Scott Campbell art. Um, that's why I was like, is that Squirrel Girl? Uh, and it is Hasbro, so hey. Uh, similar color scheme with, like, a brown jacket and everything, too, and the hair. Brown hair. Looks like she's got, what, a wrench, a pistol, a little iPad thing, and a shotgun, so pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I like the G.I. Joe classified line, so good to always add another uh, G.I. Joe figure to the mix. I try to get a lot of the name cool characters. If it's a character I really don't know or don't care about, I don't get them. Um, so, hey, it is what it is. Uh, we'll do kind of the next one. This is definitely the... It's the longest box, but it's thinner than the other one. So, um, I'm trying to think of what might be in here. Usually when I get a box that's like really long like this, it tends to be one of the Masters of the Universe Origins figures. Because they're in a longer cardboard backing box. Um... So that could be what this is, but it's heavy. It's heavier than what I would imagine a Motu figure is. Or what I remember Motus being when they were coming in. Um, no, it's a Motu figure. It's two of them. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Who do we have? Seriously, who do we have? Uh, of course, Bit by Toy Store be stacking these with stickers now. Um, we have two. It looks like we have... Oh, okay. Snake Trooper. And Slammerai. <laughs> okay. Uh, Storm Shadow here. Uh, hey, cool. We got a, another part of the Snake Man line. Um, Slithering Cyborg of the Snake Man. And then Slammerai, Heroic Master of Martial Arts. Uh, cool, I guess. I'm getting such a Storm Shadow vibe. He's like an all white samurai here. Um,. Uh, looks like we got the old King Randor, which I think is from the 2002 series. I might be wrong on that. Um, Snake Tila, which I did not get. I don't get variants of characters. Uh, I don't know why, I just, I usually choose not to. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to get Snake Tila, but I did get the Snake Trooper and I got Slam Slamurai. Snake Trooper, I'm guessing, is, uh, like an army builder type of figure. So, yeah, the Snake Troopers, it says up here, the Snake Troopers. And plural here. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. So, cool. Masters of the Universe Origins, the return. Um, okay, last box. Cool, I think we're going to come in under 25 minutes here. Which is usually good for one of my mailbag videos. Um, okay, kind of the biggest box. Not the longest one, but the biggest one. Huh. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Uh... <laughs> Alright. Uh, what is this guy? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not a guy. Uh, apologies. Uh, another sticker. We have the McFarlane DC Multiverse Raven figure. Um, kind of a, a dark horse of a figure here. And not one I was expecting to actually really get. But I went ahead and got it. Uh, it looks decent. Is it a the most accurate want of a Raven figure? No, but let's just be real here. McFarlane has openly admitted to not really liking to make female characters. Uh, he thinks they don't sell well, which, you know, maybe he's right. But uh, I do think you need them to go along with your other figures so you can actually complete collections, McFarlane. Um, I still can't believe we haven't just gotten a plain-ass classic Wonder Woman to go with the rest of the Justice League. So, fuck him for that. Uh, part of my language, but I'm serious. I just, I can't stand that he does that type of stuff. It really, it, it keeps you from keeping collections of superhero teams. Uh, this is the whole set. You got Nightwing, uh, Donna Troy, uh, that Speedball? Or Arsenal. No, it's Speedy and then, Ar I said Speedball. Speedy and Arsenal. This one's Arsenal. And then Raven. I think it's a close enough, decent Raven. Um, 
I've heard a lot of people saying the Nightwing in this set is one of the worst figures of all time. Not necessarily because of the way it looks, but because he comes with no accessories. He's got closed fists and no accessories, uh, except for the Build-A-Figure pieces. Because did you know, and I know I make fun of this a lot, McFarlane uses that little card in the back as an accessory. Um, God, he's stupid. Uh, anyway, um, I will talk crap about McFarlane himself all day. I have no problems doing it, whether the figures are good or bad. Uh, so if you don't like that tough um sorry not sorry they also went with like a really big build a figure beast boy and it's interesting because there's a gold label of this set that has like a normal small beast boy which i'm more used to uh, but this one's like a big gorilla grod jacked up atrocitous beast boy um so i'm not really interested in building it i'd rather have the small normal looking beast boy so there's Raven again. I don't think we're going to be getting a lot of classic Raven stuff. So this is probably the closest we're going to get. So I went ahead and got it. Um, and that's it. Uh, that's it for this mailbag, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, so we got Raven and Cover Girl. Uh, we got Flava Flav. Uh, we got this stuff there. Mr. Plow. And Deep Space Homer. Awesome. I like it. Cool stuff. Uh, oh, and Ronan the Accuser is over here, but I don't know if he'll fit into the frame. Uh, so, it is what it is. Uh, thank you. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You do not have to if you don't want to, but I always appreciate anybody who does. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this Tales from the Mailbag. So, I'll catch you guys in whatever the next video may be.